Determining the credibility of a website. Step two, consider the author. When looking at a website, you want to think about who is the author of the information. The author can be a person or it can be a company or organization. Start with the big picture. Is this website from a public company or is this someone's personal blog? The URL will give you some initial information about the institution or group behind this website. In this example, you can see that the first link is from Wikipedia, so you know that you'll be getting an anonymous but verified overview of the topic. You can count on getting more detailed factual information from the U.S. Geological Survey website. IMDb is a great website for movie information, but probably will not be a good resource if you were doing research for science class. WeatherWizKids.com is a company you may not be familiar with, so you'll need to do more research into the site to see whether the authors are credible or not. Finally, NationalGeographic.com is indeed a company, but it has a reputation for providing high-quality information and is probably a credible resource. Once you've thought about the overall company, take a look at the specific article or page that you need. The author of that page often has their name listed at the top or the bottom of the article. Do they seem to be using a real name or a fake screen name? If you're going to find someone to talk to about this topic, think about what would be most important to you. Does this person actually know anything about my topic? What's their education or their training? Does this person work for a professional organization or a company? Finally, can you contact the author? Think about it. Does this person sound like someone you would trust in real life, or are they doing something suspicious? Remember, not knowing one of these answers doesn't mean that the website is not credible, but should make you look more closely at other aspects. Click to watch the next video for step three, consider the date.